So let me direct the first question to uh, Sunil, if you don't mind. Um, so Mauritius, uh, your government uh, has been uh, very active in driving its Africa strategy. How is your market performing? And what current and upcoming opportunities exist for investors in Mauritius? <clears throat> Thank you, uh, uh, Oscar, and uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to express my thanks to Africa Investor for inviting me uh, to this panel. Uh, in fact, as you rightly pointed out, Oscar, I think uh, Mauritius as a country has a very important strategy as it, in positioning itself as a service platform for Africa. And I think the origin of this idea comes from the success that Mauritius has had uh, in terms of positioning itself as a very attractive service platform for investments into India uh, since the early 1990s. In fact, Mauritius uh, signed a, a very attractive double taxation treaty with India, and, and this created the kind of uh, you know, uh, environment for international investors that were looking at India as a very attractive investment destination to structure their, their vehicles, <coughs> their investment vehicles uh, from Mauritius for investments into India. And in fact, if you look at the statistics, over the last 20 years, uh, Mauritius has been the main, uh, you know, platform for structuring uh, uh, investment vehicles, private equity, uh, investment funds, uh, companies for investments into India, representing about 60% of both FDI or uh, portfolio flows. So, trying to uh, use the same model now with the growing interest that we see for Africa in terms of investment opportunities uh, across the continent in different parts and in different regions, uh, Mauritius uh, is also trying to extend that success to embrace the African investment opportunity. So what we see today, uh, foreign investors coming from the Western world, US, Europe, uh, and other countries of, of the European continent in general, not only UK, sorry, are growingly using Mauritius as, as a platform for investments into Africa. And what is also interesting as a move, we are seeing south-south uh, uh, international investment flows using Mauritius. In investors from India, for example, that are currently very active in the telecom sector and in other sectors in Africa are using Mauritius. China is growingly using Mauritius for its investment. So. This in itself, ha I think, from a, an exchange perspective, have created a, a totally new dynamism or a totally new environment for us. So to answer your question, how has the market performed and what are the prospects? I think from, from, an, from a listing perspective, from a an, uh, an market activity perspective, from a trading perspective, 2015 uh, has been very good. In fact, we've seen total volume and uh, value traded increased substantially on our market. The number of new listings that we've had since the beginning of 2015 amounts to about 30. And the good story is that out of these 30, the big majority, that is more than 20, are not domestic companies. These are companies that are being structured in Mauritius for investments into Africa, into India, and other parts of the world but that is using the stock exchange of Mauritius's multi-currency capital raising, listing, trading, and settlement platform to raise capital, list, trade, and settle from Mauritius. And the good story is that the money, some of them have done capital raising, the money is not necessarily being raised from Mauritius, they are being raised internationally because of this multi-currency listing, trading, and settlement platform. So. In terms of growth development, the market has been extremely active. We've seen a number of new listings, and many of these companies have primarily listed on the Stock Exchange of Mauritius and dual listed on the JSE for the REN part of capital raising. So uh, going forward, I think we will see the Stock Exchange of Mauritius leveraging on this internationalization of a platform more and more, so as to drive its growth not only from internal, the internal economy, but also from <coughs> this platform that we've created to service Africa 
and to service other re emerging regions of the world. From a index uh, perspective, uh, of course, as Oscar has said, uh, we, we have, I think, since the beginning of the year, uh, also seen uh, s uh, some selling off and, and the main index, which is uh, um, uh, all share index on our market, has dropped uh, on a year-to-date basis by about, uh, I think, 6 to 6.5%. 6 so, and the reason is simple, it's because of, of what's going on internationally, uh, investors have been nervous. Uh, growth rate in Mauritius has been around 3.5, and we're expecting either between 3.5 to 3.8 percent uh, during this year, which by international standards is great, but by Mauritian standard is relatively an underperformance because we've had a history of growth of more than 5 percent for most of the last 20 or, or year, odd years. So, so that's, uh, in, in a nutshell, I think it's an uh, exciting time because of market development, but of course we are a bit nervous about what is going on in the rest of the world. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.